Hey, hello, everybody. It's Vitaly over here at uh, OG Gamers World, OG Gamers Live. And before we get started, be sure to click that like, that subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell so you get notified when new content goes up or when I go live. We are trying to grow the channel, and we cannot do it without your support. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible because I've, I've had a lot of people asking me uh, in private why does I keep recommending the ARC series of cards, specifically the A770, over cards like a 3060 or a 4060, especially the 4060, because they're, they're looking at the 4060. And it's it's a little bit of a complex answer, but we're going to try to simplify it as much as we can. And hopefully in the process of explaining this, it'll it'll help some of you out. Because if you're like me, you go over onto YouTube, you watch all the, all the videos up when they've, they've got the fancy graph charts and they've done all this testing. And, and then you, but the problem is, is every, you go from channel to channel to channel and everybody has different results. Uh, I'm not hating but they do things different or they're using different equipment. Uh, uh, and, and all I want is an overall sense of how a particular graphics card is going to work in the real world, in a real case scenario. And I'm, I'm going to show you what I do. Let's come over here to user benchmark. And we're going to explain a little bit how this works. This is the, uh, RTX 3050, that card uh, is just so bad it's criminal. I'm sorry, it's it, it, it's not even on my list of, of things to even consider. I wouldn't even use it for a a, a paperweight or or a trot line weight. It, it's just e waste as far as I'm concerned. And as you can see, the A770 blows it completely out of the water. So, uh, what happens if we look at a, a 3060? Surely that's a better card, right? No. Once again, the ARC A770 blows it out of the water. Well, I can't really afford an A770. How about a, a 750? Surely it's better than a 750, right? No. As you can see, once again, where it matters, it blows it out of the water. And I'm, I'm going to explain something here. And hopefully it'll make sense to y'all and you'll, you'll catch what I'm saying here. Keep in mind, when the ARC cards released, they suffered from driver issues, which affected the performance, and they performed horribly. These benchmarks go all the way back to the release of the cards, so it factors their averages, so it factors into the overall score. If we could remove uh, the first benchmarks, the, the worst ones, uh, and just use the new ones, these numbers would be so much higher it's, it, it's just ridiculous because Intel has been working and, and striving to improve the performance of their graphics card drivers uh, since day one. Uh, I don't think there ha there's, hasn't been a month that goes by that they haven't released an update that's improved the performance of the ARC series cards. So, well, what about a 4060? 40, surely a, a 4060 is better. Well, let's go look. Now, theoretically, overall, the effective speed on that 4060, they say it's 20% faster. Here's the thing. It only gets that score based on ray tracing. If you're like me and 99% of the other people out here in the world today, you could care less about ray tracing. You don't, you don't have any need for ray tracing. Well, in that case, guess what? Even the A750 still blows it out of the water. 
where it where it matters in everyday use cases the a750 is still the better car not only is it a faster card overall it's cheaper you can pick that card up right now if you want the limited edition it's 219 dollars versus 300 dollars or you can get like msi has one for 199 so you can save a hundred dollars with the a750 that way but what about the 750 I mean, uh, 770. Let's look at the 770. They say it's only 9% faster, but, but again, keep in mind that there's two factors affecting that, that score right there. One being the benchmarks going back to the beginning, the, the worst benchmark here where it's 83%. If we could get rid of those worst benchmarks in both cases, they're tied at the best, and the A770 would still blow it out. It's still blowing it out of the water, even with these numbers. Does that make sense? And guess what? They're the same price, and you get 16 gigabytes of RAM on the A770 at, at, at $299 right now. Well... A lot of people say that I should get the AMD uh, RX 6700. You know, that's a good card. And it's probably the only one in this lineup. That beats the A770, but it kind of doesn't. The cheapest, the cheapest card you can find in the RX 6700 XT right now is 329 and it's, and I wouldn't have it. I'd have to spend more money and get a card that I liked. Uh, it is a much faster, I say much faster, it's only 10% faster overall in, in 3D speed. And if, once again, if you could re remove the, the worst benchmarks in both cases, the A770 would beat it. Because uh, the average score everywhere else is it's a plus for the A770. And those numbers would go up if you could remove the worst averages from both sides. They'd go up on both sides, but I think you would see that the ARC A770 would still be a lot faster card. Uh, and, and uh, we've already talked about the price. Here's here's the 6700 XT. That's the cheapest one I could find today. 329.99, and it's uh, it's an Asrock. I, I might take that one. Here's the 4060. Oh, well, keep in mind that once again, that's a 12 gigabyte card versus 16. So that would probably I would still choose this one over the 4060 for a fact. Uh, but given the price, I would still go with the A770. Here's the 4060. It's the same price as the A770. There, there it is today on sale for $299. If you want an 8 gigabyte version and you just want to keep the RAM the same size, you can get it for $249. You can get it for the the A770, $50 cheaper than the 4060, and it's a lot faster card. Uh, if you want the A750 Limited Edition, it's $219 today. If you want the ASRock A750 version, it's $199 today. There's some other cars that I don't recognize their name, but but yeah, I, when it comes to what we have available right now in in the, the low to mid range, I, uh, the Arc is the better choice. It just it just really is, and that's why I keep recommending it. Uh, Depending on what game you're playing, you might run into uh, some issues. I, I haven't, I haven't seen that. 
I haven't, I, I, I've been running mine for over eight days. Uh, I've tried CSGO, I've tried Call of Duty, I've PUBG, uh, the stuff that I care to play, and it's, it's, and it's performed flawlessly in those. I've used it to edit video in 4K. Uh, the, the, the AV1 codec is wonderful for streaming and uh, rendering out video to upload to social media. Uh, you need to check that out. But, but that's why I recommend the Intel series of cards right now because every driver update, they've improved the performance uh, to the point that it's competing with the 4060 and, and in some cases the 4060 Ti. Uh, uh, you know, to, to give you an idea of how bad the, the 3050, the 3060 are, uh, or, or even the 4060, a 2070 Super will will blow a 3050 and a 3060 out of the water and will trade blows with the 4060. Unfortunately, a used 2070 Super is running between two and, and four hundred dollars on eBay right now. And if you can find a brand new one, they want seven, eight hundred dollars for it. It's just it's just not a good value. You can buy a better card. The Intel Arc A770. <laughs> Hope that helps. Uh, once again, don't forget to click that like, that subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell so you get notified about when I go live or, or upload new content. Uh, if you can, consider uh, dropping a little donation in the donation link or sending a super thanks. Uh, we couldn't do these videos without your help. Till next time, this is Vitaly. Y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world today. And I'm out of here.